here's a little COVID update. For those of you who don't remember or who don't know, our little mouse is called COVID, COVID with a K, just because we wanted to have some nice associations with that name. This is the little home that she stays in. Now, for those of you who don't know, she showed up in our house. We knew she was around. We would find mouse droppings and little bites taken from a pear and so on. This is a box that we had in our garage. And at first she was in here, but then I realized she needs something to amuse her and a way to run around. So a neighbor lent us this nice house here, this cage. The only problem is that our little COVID, our cute little mouse, doesn't seem to know how to use this wheel. I wanted to make sure that she had enough exercise, so I wanted to give her that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, this is a kind of a plastic thing. This lid opens. It's hard to show you. This usually opens like that. It's hard to show you with one hand. You can see she has a lot of poop lying around. I have to clean all that. And this usually goes in here. And you see there's like a little tube that she can go in here. And there's another tube there. And yeah, this is the toilet paper that she uses to make little nests in different places. And inside this bag, before I put some seeds in there, and she got them out by digging a hole. And this time I noticed she didn't eat them. So I'm a little concerned. Usually she loves, usually she loves uh, little bits of nuts and it's hard to show you, but there's sunflower seeds in there. We've also given her corn that she likes and she looks like she ate the inside of her pea, but not the outside, maybe the inside of the corn, I don't know. She had a carrot, she had a pea, she had corn, she had a lima bean. She's had, yeah, the water's in here usually and inside this little shell we had put some peanut butter. So she gets a variety, but they say that we shouldn't give her too much in one shot because um, she needs to forage around and make it seem like there's an adventure. Whoops, hope that doesn't scare her. I'm trying to find her there. You don't see her there. And I'm going to take this out. I just have random things there for her to play with. Sorry, COVID. I know you're in here. I know. I suspect I know where she is. And then back here. I don't know how that lid got there. I think it was on top here. And it fell. So these are just random things and I've had all kinds of objects in here, different twigs and all kinds of bits of paper and different cloth, anything to make it interesting. This was a little thing that just said she could stand on just to have anything at all for variety. So if you look over here, I'm going to move this over here and this here. See that's where she sleeps sometimes, the poops in there. I clean everything and this is the glass. Now these glass pieces came from Ikea, an Ikea shelf. And so let me just move these over to show you guys. Oh, here's Bella having a nap, everybody. Hi Bella. Hi sweetie bud. How's it going? You're so tired. Bella went on a long run today with all her friends at the golf course. Hey. I love you. Go back to sleep. <laughs> she wants me to pet her. No, I gotta go. I'm in the middle of making a video. Okay, I'll come back. I'll come back. Hold on. Come back soon. Okay. So, right. Um, what was I showing you? Okay, so I'm pretty sure she's under here. Look what she's done. I put this box in here and I put it there just to, because uh, I thought she would jump on it. But look what she's done. I go very gently. Sorry. I just have to make sure she's alive. I really hate disturbing her. But at the same time, I want her to get to know us a little bit and not be so afraid of us. Um, I have not picked her up yet. I really want to give her her space. I don't want to scare her. I don't want to, you know, bother her. But I'll just show you. I'm pretty sure she's under there. Isn't that amazing? She took all of this toilet paper from up here and she brings it down there. Oh, at first she got under this thing and she did not have a little hole. I noticed now she's actually dug out a bit here, but before she actually just lifted this whole thing and went under it. One morning I was like, I couldn't find her. And now she's actually 
made herself a little mouse hole. It's the cutest thing. Okay, COVID. You want to say hi? Oh, when I use the baby voice, Bella thinks I'm talking to her. Uh, she doesn't even know that there's a mouse here yet. Sorry, sweetie pie. Just wanted to say hi and let everybody see you. Oh, there she is. Whoops. I dropped that. Hello, you okay? You're alive? Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm vegan. I don't eat any animals. That's right. Isn't she the cutest? You're such a cutie cutie. Yeah, I'm going to go clean everything up and get you some food. Okay. Oh. You running to hide? Don't worry, sweetie. Pa. I'm not going to hurt you. And in the spring, I'm going to release you. Okay, let's put her house back to the way it was. Put that there. Get this box here. We'll make sure the door's at the right side here. And that's it. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that our mouse is fine. We rescued her in a humane trap so she was not injured. And it really does seem like there was just one mouse in the whole house which is odd, but it's freezing here in Canada, so we can't release her yet. Oh no, sweetie boy. Okay. Okay. And you guys can just say a quick hi to Bella. Hey, hi, Bella. Everybody loves you, Bella. Everybody's scared that you're not okay, but you're fine. You're fine. Tell them. Tell them you're alive and you're fine. Bella's been vegan since August. 2017 and she's fine she's totally fine no she puts her she puts her arm on my shoulder that means to keep petting me don't leave don't leave okay gotta go sweetie i'll be right back that's all guys i'll talk to you later do 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 do